السلام عليكم في صار بيزن كوريا هوا بحشم يوشاي بحشم فكداش the Boston Millison so just hit left now listening to right now Akium is that we're still in our captivity man you know it's it's a poor reminder of that we are still not f free from this by man bro we're still in we're still in chains we're still we, ha we have we have what was it called? What's the so oh, social security number? Basically, what it means is that basically we're just like cattle. We're just like cattle to the Edomites, bro. We're just a number that we just that just sells and get money, you know. But this is Haggai, one of verse six. I mean, he has so much, and bring in little. You eat, but you have not enough. You drink. For you not filled to drink, be clothed you, for there is none warm, and he that earneth wages, to put it in holes with, and to put it into a bag with holes. And that's how it is, bro. We're like we're still in stock, we're still in captivity. That they ate more we earned, they didn't, they didn't enough, man. They, my fucking you might have some fucking way to always build you some shit, bro. Now I gotta say that. The most they're not blood, but the was you know, a little bit of money. Yeah, of course, man. I'm not saying their brother going off, of course not, bro. But at the same time, you know, hey, every brother you know has their their own has their own trial trouble and tribulation, bro. Next, we got Baruch. Three verse six and three verse eight, and read: Behold, we are yet to stay in, to, in our captivity, whereas thou hast scattered us for reproach and a curse. So it literally says it though, Akim. That suck like, nose, fucking bugging up shit. <laughs> they say that, hey man, we're still in, even to this day we're still in our captivity. He's like. Remember what I think it was Chris Rock said like Hey it's say Hey you say make a bit of money bro <laughs> At the end you're not you're the one that's you know maybe we're the one that signed the contract we're not giving it out <laughs> Nice example like, you know those NBA players like yeah they got money you know so you know they got money the NFL players yeah they got money the money you know the average they do at the end, they're the ones signing the contract. They're not one that is that giving it out. It's they're they're on a contract to play for this team and they'll get this much money. So they're well, the person that's really rich is that motherfucker that's giving out the the it's like CEO, the leader of the ship, bro. <laughs> Read again for this Baruch Jr. verse eight. It reads, "Behold, we are yet to this day in our captivity." Whereas thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse to be subject to be subject to payment. You know, brothers or oh, British brothers know that so fans are, you know. A car payments, rent, rent, mortgage, you own a house, stuff like that, man, you know. Pro for example, right? You could own the house, but you'll never own the property. It's gonna pay property tax, man. If you don't pay for that property, hey. They could take your house away. So yeah, you own the house, but you don't own the property. So technically, this house is not yours. It's on my land. <laughs> and you know, that shit, that shit is fucked up, bro. Yeah, you know how fucked that is, man. That you don't own the property. I do, but you own the house, and your house is on my property. So technically, I own the pro house. You just don't have to pay the mortgage for that property, but you pay. Tax for the property. You know, man, ESL is wicked. You know, that sound is wicked as hell, man. You know, like I said, we're yet to stay in our captivity. We want to, according to the iniquities, to all the iniquities of our, our fathers, which depart from the most high of power. You know why we're here, man? Because, hey, man, we went, we went off in the old world, bro. We went off. So right now, this whole, the United States, bro, is our captivity, man. 
It's like captivity, so hey. Hey, this is a German, but at the end, bro, I'm also gonna get back on his Enomites for, you know, judging us, bro. You most have the balance power. And with the world is it is in just in balance. But this is Micah 2 and verse 10. It's like I mean, it's arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it's polluted. It shall destroy you even with the store destruction. <laughs> and like I said before, man, this place is spiritually and physically polluted. Yo, New York, man, you got fucking this big ass rats, bro. Cramped as hell. A lot of smog. All that shit, bro. Unhealthy environments like that, bro. Like, yeah, I mean, you know, motherfucker makes it all look nice or like that, but hey, there's a lot of shit that's not cool, not good of him, man. Got this trash dump just like that, bro. His land filled with this trash and trash. Polluted, man. Now that's the physical part of it. Now the spiritual part of it is filled with adultery, usury, motherfucking eating pork, if unclean animals. You know, so motherfucking sodomites. Got the LGBTQ community, bro. Bro, it's, it is spiritually polluted. It's like it's spiritually and physically polluted at the same time, bro. So this is not a rest, man. But if we truly decide to try to stay in this kingdom, like I said, and read it again. This is Micah 2 verse 10. It reads, Arise ye, depart. This is not your rest. Because it's polluted. It shall destroy you, you know, for the short of a sore destruction. This place destroys Jack, bro. Destroys all individual men. Either you just, what fuck, be trying, they say, oh, gotta, gotta chase the bag, gotta get the bag, you know? Hey, man, you're just living, uh, he's always chasing money. You'll never get the money. He's always getting, you're always trying, trying to get it, man. Yeah, this place is just wicked as hell, bro. There's no point for us being here. The only reason, only reason to be here is for our judgment. That's it, man. But don't try making a name for yourself, bro. <laughs> that is Matthew 24 and verse 37. And reads, but as they didn't know, where so were also the coming of Son of Man. Because, hey, maybe we're telling this also, but we're telling this truth, bro. But, hey, motherfuckers, they don't listen, bro. They're partying and bullshit. Now, what are these two thirds of you, man? It's partying and bullshit, bro. For as in the days that were before, before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage. Until the day of no enters into the ark. And what? And hey man, I work in a restaurant, bro. Hey, motherfucker be just lining up to get inside the the nice way eating and drinking. Motherfucker, I, I see motherfuckers coming every single goddamn time, busy as hell. Be a Tuesday night. It's busy hell, fully packed, got a dirteen 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 group. 13 parties waiting list, bro. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall the Son of Man be. Hey, man. Like I said, hey, this is not a rise when people still don't try to listen, bro. They still try to do their own thing, try to do their own stuff, bro. And most of them are going to judge us for that, man. But next, let's see it real quick. Like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just I'm going to talk the property text. I'm going to get the scriptures, bro. Isaiah 10 and verse 1 reads, Woe unto, woe unto them that write, Woe unto them that decree aren't his decrees, and write grievous when they are prescribed. So, my father's giving our march to scream, but man, man is my destination. You gotta pay for property tax. You gotta pay for your own money that you earn. Because on a social security, man. This place is wicked as hell, bro. 
that's when they get off to him. That is all that's going to be how about her some y'all shy about her some of the dust. All those in the edifying knock you know that was a shallow one.